Hello, Internet friends. I am Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark. And tonight we are going to be looking at something that prior to a few weeks ago, I had never heard of. And I am glad that they reached out because uh, it's awesome. We are looking at the King Spark, otherwise known as Dope Crumb 3, <laughs> from Whimsy Machines. Stick around for this one. So when Whimsy Machines reached out, they said, hey, we got this tube screen here. And I went, eh, no. I played a few of those. They said, yeah, but take a look at it. And so I did. And boy, and if this thing started as a tube screen here, it ended up a totally different thing. Uh, this is a discrete core tube screamer with tunable positive feedback, which is crazy. It's awesome. And then on, up top here, they have a couple of different options for uh, some expression, so you can control that feedback, that positive feedback. So you can make a lot of really crazy sounds with that positive feedback, you know, a lot of the really cool like squeals and squeaks and stuff like that. Well, the other thing that you can do is you can also use that positive feedback to kind of tune the, the top end or the low end of your drive signal. So like, it's something else, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna throw it in here on a mix on a bunch of guitar tracks. Let's take a deeper dive into the uh, King Spark from Whimsy Machines. But first, I am running a bunting Alice into a 1967 Fender Bassman. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the controls of this thing, and there are a few of them. Um, so it's kind of broken up into color-coded sections here. Uh, the blue here, we have a drive, and that is the saturation level of the pedal. And below that, we have a volume that is the overall output volume of the pedal. And down in the green, we have the three-band EQ, low, middle, and high. Great to be able to dial out that mid hump on the tube screamer if, uh, if you need to. So I am all in favor of that. The orange is where it gets interesting. 
So the orange is this positive feedback thing. And you have a level, which is control of the level of the feedback. You have a, uh, a frequency, which is the frequency of the feedback. And it is tunable. I actually, uh, I, used, I used it on one of the solos on that intro tune. I used it on an expression pedal. I just kind of faded it in and out. But I actually tuned it to an A. So when I was doing it, it was in key. So it was cool. You can actually tune this puppy to whatever you want it to. And then um, next to that is the resonance. That's the resonance of the filter. Up top, you have two different expression jacks. You have one, which is the level, which is the one that I was using on that solo, just fading it in and out. But then there's another one that you can do. Uh, you can control the frequency with an expression. So that's awesome. That's super useful and um, super cool. And I'm a, I'm a fan of the way they laid this thing out. So let's uh, let's just familiarize ourselves a little bit with the blue and green, and we'll go into orange in a minute. So here we go. <laughs> dive into that upper orange control. First thing that I have done here is I have pulled a frequency that I like, that I want to hear, and that I think we can just blend into the existing signal to make some really cool sounds with. It's not wacky or anything like that. It's more of a sculpting thing. And so I picked the frequency here, I brought up some resonance, and then we'll just kind of pull it in. We'll pull the level in little by little, and you can hear how it pulls in and how it changes the sound of the pedal. And then after that, we'll get weird. Okay? All right, cool.
So that was different, right? Like that's a, that's a different thing. That whole positive feedback thing. It's cool because it's like taking like a synthesizer control, a synthesizer element, and putting it into a tube screamer. So that that's what I was interested in when when I read about this thing, and um, it did not disappoint like it's super cool and like all those feedback sweeps and stuff like or those frequency sweeps i was doing um the knob you can do that with an expression pedal so you know like you can really like get your tom sawyer synthesizer you know thing on and like it's (laughs) it's cool it's super cool i really like it one thing that's pretty sweet is and it's kind of a novelty but i like it i like novelties uh you can do this fun trick where you pull the the output jack out about halfway and that will give you this kind of phasey kind of sound sort of it's subtle but it's very cool um and it'll get really loud because it totally bypasses the uh the output volume and gain and eq but it's cool so i'll show you how it works Spark from uh, Whimsy Machines. Check it out. Definitely check these guys out. They're making cool stuff. And they all look, like all their pedals on their website, look as cool as this one. And this is a cool looking pedal. Not that it matters, but hey, it does, right? Cool looking pedals are cool. All right. So hey, thank you for your time. <laughs>